Hey guys, how you doing? It's Dylan again. So I'm here for another mail day. Um, the tops packages are starting to catch up um, to present day, I think. Um, I keep checking, of course, I, I subscribe to one particular thing each week, but they've had some pretty good um, or neat different cards or Red Sox cards that I could not um, refuse or resist, rather. And I got one package I'm really excited to open, um, a break that I've never bought into before. Um, and I'll, I think I might mention the name. I don't know. I usually don't. The only breaks I usually mention are the ones that I've been loyal to for years, um, to include Hawks Breaks, which was our last video of one of the, um, uh, breaks that I bought into. All right, so let's get to it. Let's open some of these tops packages. Um, that's a pretty big one. Oh, so is that one. Oh, goodness. All right. Again, they're all big. I'm going to save the break to last, I think. So let's get this tops one open. See what we got here today. Might be my Throwback Thursday subscription. It might be an individual purchase. Um, unfortunately, as you guys know, my memory isn't great sometimes. So I lose track of some of my purchases. And it's like Christmas all over again when you unwrap them. <laughs> Something you can look forward to as you age. Not that I'm over the hill. Anyway. So I'm having fun watching the Red Sox, of course. Um, hope they can continue this run. They look pretty good for a young, pretty young team. Well, new players anyway, I guess. I, it has been fun to watch them. All right, so we got some Sports Illustrated. This is not the Throwback Thursday. Similar packaging to the Throwback Thursday packaging. Um, kind of like it. It's a semi-rigid um, envelope that, of course, you saw put was put into a bubble mailer. Um, and it's a Sports Illustrated collection by Topps. Um, as you can see in the back, it's a special collaboration with a historic Sports Illustrated publication and its archive of iconic cover art. Topps has curated a limited edition 70 card set to celebrate its own 70th anniversary of creating trading cards. So I've purchased a couple of these. Um, not interested in collecting the whole set, although it's pretty cool. Um, you know, just imagining the covers of the Sports Illustrated magazines um, from baseball um, being on a card. It's pretty cool. All right, and like a lot of things on tops, they um, do include a variation colors I believe or numbers serial numbered so let's see if we were lucky enough to get some of those numbers so quite a few cards in here so this might might have been one of my Red Sox purchases ah, these are tight man hold on this isn't usually this hard to open and it's not taped with the tops tape so wow all right there we go just didn't want to come off and like I do every time I have to hand it to tops about their packaging oh neat cool so I had to um, you know I'm a baseball fanatic so when there comes a player that is just phenomenal like Mike Trout um, I have to go with him I don't necessarily PC Mike Trout I do keep some of my um, rarer cards that I happen to be lucky enough to pull um, I saw this online and just kind of had to have it. So, um, let's see. This is from 2012 cover of Sports Illustrated. So, I did purchase a few of them. Looks like about five. Um, nice glossy finish. I don't know if the lighting can pick that up here. Not chromium, but nice gloss. So, sort of reminiscent of um, the old stadium club. And I say old because I believe they were glossier back in the 90s than they are today. So again, these are all Mike Trouts, but I'm seeing if we're lucky enough to get a parallel. I don't believe we were, but that's okay. And it might be the parallels are only included in the in the set they put out. So this was card number one. I'll turn around the back here. Pretty cool. The Supernatural. <laughs> 2012 American League Rookie of the Year campaign, rather. Alright, so I'm going to tuck these safely inside and I'll sleeve them up later on. 
I don't leave my cards in here unless um, I haven't gotten around to sleeving them. And I do keep all of this, all the boxes and such. I have no idea what I'll do with these boxes at some point. Um, I might ship cards in them. I don't know. Might sell them. Some people use them. But, alright. Wow, that really is a tight fit. Sorry guys. I'm trying not to force this back on, but I don't want the cards to fall out. Yeah, you know what? I like to show a visual of what we get here, so get this on the cover really easy here. And set that up right there. Alright, so that's the break stuff. Alright, let's open this one. A little bit thicker package, I think. So yeah, tops um <laughs> just keep sending out things as I order them instead of I guess just holding them until the whole order is completed, which I'm fine with. Um, I think it's kind of cool that they do that. A lot of places won't do that for you as far as um, sending items on from your order. A lot of places will just wait until your order is completed and send them. Ah, cool. Another Sports Illustrated. So I must have liked a couple of these beginning cards. Um, I don't know what number card they're up to. I really don't. Um, I think this might have been, I purchased the set, two card bundle, huh, must have been, anyway, sorry, let's get this open and see what it is, shall we, so yeah, they, comes in a bubble mailer, and it comes in a bubble package, <laughs> I like saying bubble, alright, uh, <laughs> It's early in the morning here. I'm a morning person, so you got me on coffee. It's a legal stimulant. Oh, come on, man. Well, I guess I'm not going to be saving this bubble wrap. I usually do because of the size of them. It's pretty cool to, um, to fit top loaders in or, or one touches. All right. Again, with the nice packaging. And I try not to rip it. Yeah. Can't avoid it sometimes. All right. Whoa. Okay, so this was a set. I did order a set or two. So, of course, card number one. Now you guys get to see card number two and number two, I believe. I think, it, I think it's two card sets, yeah. Yeah, well, we didn't get a parallel on this one. Oh, well. So Mike Trout again. And Duke Snyder. Duke Snyder. Nice. That's pretty cool. Huh. I like those. I didn't realize I had purchased five. I guess I remember. Yeah. So, so see? My memory. I thought I may have purchased more than one set. But we'll put that back in there. I'll probably separate that out. Alright. Alright, guys. One more tops package. Let's see if I can set this up here against Boggs and Louis T on. Alright, so one more tops package. So I guess there's not as many in these packages as I thought. They're just really wrapped well. Oh, wow. Alright, so this is the Throwback Thursday. As you can see through there. There we go. I don't know how the hell they squeeze these things in here without ripping them apart because I can never get them out without without ripping them. This is kind of funny. Well, screw that. Ripping them. Ah. Alright, throwback Thursday. Let's see which one this was. If it was a weekly one or one that I purchased multiple cards of. Looks like a weekly one. Yep. Oh, cool. So they're up to the... To the Bowman. Ah, this is sweet. I like this throwback. They're, um, in my opinion, they're a higher quality card than, say, the Heritage or Archives um, kind of throwback look. Um, and here we go. Francisco Lindor with his Mets uniform on. 
with his bling. Let's see what we got here. So we got Francisco Lindor. And rookie card of Ryan Mount Mountcastle. Like that rookie card. Look at him just kind of... That's a nice action shot. And he's watching that ball. That's pretty cool. And Chipper Jones. Throwback. Nice cards. They just look real um, authentic as far as that era. Um, I think it was 91, 92. Wow, 92. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, I'll be sleeving those up too. Let me put those back in here. Alright, so we got our Trout and our Throwback Thursday set from last, well, actually, I think it was from a week before last. They're a bit behind, like I said, as far as shipping. So, let's get to the break. So, this was a new um, breaker that I had never purchased from called High Quality Store. Pretty original name. <laughs> from Orlando. And great group of guys. Um, obviously, there's two people on there that do the break. I don't know their names. I apologize. I didn't do that research, nor is it really publicized on their eBay or or on their um, YouTube. Um, trying to cover up what I just unwrapped here. So I took a chance. I paid more money uh, for the Red Sox team. It was a two-box break of the 2021 Bowman First Edition. So, um, pretty funny guys, heavy accents, um, but I love, I love accents. I love um, Spanish accent. So, they're down in Florida, they're breaking, and it's obvious they have fun, and he's got a, a baby Yoda that he rubs every time, which I think is quite funny. All right, I'm trying to cover these up, but he didn't, he, he didn't put them so that you can't see one of the cards or more. So, those of you know that I am chasing um, for a while here anyway, until the hype dies down a little bit, because um, his cards were going outrageous. I'm chasing Blaze Jordan, who is a barely 18-year-old um, draft pick. I think it was third round draft pick. I can't remember. I'd have to look on the back of this card. Um, he has a bat. Um, he has had a bat on him since he was 15, 16 years old, um, hitting 400, 450 plus feet home runs as a kid. Um, we're not talking this year or last year. We're talking when he was 15, 16 years old. Um, the only thing that that makes me hesitant to, to invest too much more in, in his first Bowman's um, is the fact that his defense has not developed. Um, his offense is cool, but I'm really not sure if he can hit um, major league fastballs yet. Um, of course, he's in development, so he's got a lot of years still left to grow physically. So now that I'm done with all this p tape that he put on here, man, I think one of the things I would have suggested is that he put these top loaders in um, in one of these. So these are the base cards. Ugh. Not much special. Um, gives you a nice preview of what the Bowman brand is going to look like. This is a 150 card set. Um, no rookies, just prospects. Um, so I got Denison Rom Rosario, Nick York. Tristan Cassis, Jeter Downs, Nick York, Rosario Downs, Duran, and Chatham. So the only first first Bowman for the Red Sox, in this Bowman anyway, and I don't know about other Bowmans, um, I haven't perused the checklist for the Bowman set that's coming out next week. Um, I think it's the 28th. But Blaze Jordan, um, these... Bowman first were going for over a hundred dollars when it was first released, which was absolutely ridiculous. Um, again, only because I say the only thing really on him right now at 18 years old is his bat, and not sure how diverse his batting is. Um, 
but I wanted to get a few of these to hang on to because again it's not only a first Bowman but it's a first edition first Bowman so these are a little bit rare so I got one two man come on guys I'm criticizing the fact that they didn't tape the well they taped the sides as far as taping them together but they didn't tape these from coming out anyway um spent a lot of money to get on this break so you know so i got two regular blaze jordans let's put these up next to trout sorry mike this rookie hasn't isn't worthy right yet not yet standing next to you all right blaze jordan prospect this is a sky blue and the markings are on the top loader so i am going to carefully take this out and put it in a different top loader a new top loader because it's going into my pc so these aren't numbered the sky blue but this is a a nice parallel um glossy finish the guy the breaker on there was calling them refractors oh i hated that so i messaged him a polite message and said hey dude um these are foil cards um, these are parallel foil cards, not refractors. They are not chromium. So, at any rate. So that's a nice pull. The centering on this is pretty decent. Um, from my naked eye, it looks looks like a 10 as far as centering. Um, surface might have some issues, but it could be rubbed off or buffed off. Alright guys, so that was mail day for today, which is Saturday whatever date it is <laughs> the 20 the 23rd or 24th i think it is lose track of the date so that was my reveal for that wonderful break i have a couple more breaks coming in um trying to get off the breaks again i hadn't bought into a break for quite some time um, for obvious reasons they're expensive and it's a gamble um but i wanted to get a few more bowman's first edition red Sox stuff on board and i have a couple coming in from hawks no not hawks well he's selling on hawks but cory um oh man what's his name breaking mania i think it is so those are the two hawks and breaking mania that i keep um purchasing from because they're honest um great group of people on online on facebook um and they don't really pull you around so and they're not too big where like this break kind of cost me an arm and a leg so at any rate guys i hope you're well this is dylan please press that subscribe button i really would appreciate it thumbs up and drop me a comment if you like i um, gonna be coming up with some videos keep talking about it haven't done it yet but i have some outlines of videos for tutorial stuff for people getting back into the hobby or just regular tips on how to deal with today's hobby all right guys talk to you later take care Bye-bye.